hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to add this design to our blogger website so here we can see we have a list of news displayed over here on the top of our website and if you want to learn how to create this from scratch i have a video on that i will leave the link in the description of this video now in this video i'll show you how to add this design to our blogger website so let's get started <laughs> Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, let's go over here to theme and we need to edit the theme code and this is how our website looks right now so we are using a default blogger theme called Contemporlite. So let's go ahead and click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML and now we need to add this uh, design to our theme code. Now this design is basically set to position of fixed so no matter where we add the code the design will always be displayed at the top. So I'll just add it to the end of our theme course. I'll just go to the end and uh, let's go just before the body tag ends and I'll just paste the code over here. First of all, let's paste the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag over here and uh, let's paste the CSS over here. So let's go back to the source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's go to the style.css file and let's copy everything from this line of code till here. And let's copy this from here and let's paste the code over here inside the style tag. Right now let's add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file. And let's copy all this HTML from here till here. So here we can see we have all these news. So you can go ahead and change the content of the news to whatever you want. And if you want to add a new news, you can just go ahead and create a new anchor tag and add it over here. And if you want to remove any of these news, you can just delete the anchor tag from here. Now the news that you see over here is uh, a link because here we can see it is an anchor tag. So here you can add the link of any page over here. So in place of this hash, you can add the link of the news page. Right, let's copy all of this from here and let's go back and paste it over here. And we also need to add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag for that. And here in the script tag, we will add the JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And let's copy all this uh, JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here. And let's go back to our HTML file. And here we can see that we also have this uh, font that we need to add. So let's copy the link of this font from here and uh, Let's go back and we need to paste it in the head section. So let's scroll up. I'll just search for the end of the head section. So I'll just type less than forward slash head. And here just before the head tag ends, I'll just paste the link of the fonts. And now if you go back to our CSS, here we can see that the font is added to the body. But we haven't copied the styles of the body to our theme code. So let's copy this line of code from here for the font. And we need to paste it inside the news container division. So let's go back and uh, let's scroll down to the end. And here in the CSS, I'll just paste the line of code. So I'll just paste it over here. So we have the font family set to Poppins. Right now, let's click on save and let's see whether everything is working all right. And here we can see we have some problems in uh, line number 2960. So let's go to the line. Now the problem is that we are writing the code inside an XML file. So here instead of ampersand, we have to type ampersand AMP semicolon. Right now let's click on save. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. Now here we can see that the news design is not being displayed. But if you scroll down, here we have the design. So the design is basically below all the other elements. So we need to add a Z index. So let's go back and let's go to the CSS. And here in the news container, let's go ahead and add a Z index. I'll just type Z index. And I'll just set it to 500. And let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the news design is displayed over here. But we have some problem in this text. So let's right click over here and let's go to inspect. 
and uh, if you scroll down now here we can see we have some word break by the theme itself so we need to change this to something else so we can change this to normal so if I just type normal we can see that the news is displayed correctly so let's add a word break of normal let's go back and uh, let's go to the container division so here I just type word break normal and uh, let's save it and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see everything looks all right let's open one of these posts and here we have the post displayed and here also we have the news design displayed but here we can see that some of the content of our website is hidden below this news design so we need to add some margin top for the body so let's select the news container division and uh, here we can see that we have a width of 762 pixels and we have a height of 44 pixels so we need to add a margin top of 44 pixels to the body so let's go back and uh, here let's add some styles to the body so I just have body and uh, let's set the margin top to 44 pixels and let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have the correct margin top for our design let's go to the home page and here also it looks all right let's scroll down and if we scroll up we can see that we also have some element over here so when we scroll up we have this element so we need to add the margin top for this as well so let's right click over here and let's go to inspect and here we have this division and let's scroll up and let's go to the container division and uh, this is the container division so we have this header and we have the class center top and sticky so let's copy this selector from here and we need to add a margin top for this as well so let's go back and here I just add a comma and I just add the new selector and now let's save this and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now let's scroll down and uh, let's scroll up and here we can see we have the correct margin top for this element as well so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add this design to your blogger website now in the next video i'll show you how to display the latest post over here instead of this news right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,